Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be taking a look to see if the older Mac Pros are still worth it in 2018. So let's get started. So the model that I have here is the 2009 4.1 Mac Pro. Now, to tell you the truth, out of all the Apple computers that have come out over the years, the Cheese Grater Mac Pro has been one of my favorite. Um, this is due to a couple of different factors that we'll look over today. First of which being how upgradable the machine is. Being able to add in your own hard drive is just awesome, and that is not a feature that we see coming out in most Macs today. So with the simple flip of a lever, we're able to slide in and slide out as many as four standard desktop hard drives. You can also add two more in the CD drive SATA slots at the top. Another great thing about this system is the full access to PCIe lanes. So we are able to add in our own graphics cards, network adapter, or any other PCI device. This comes in handy when upgrading the machine. So you can start off by spending a little bit less on the graphics card and upgrade as you use the machine. So you don't get that in the new Mac Pro that's available today. Another great thing is the entire machine is using workstation grade hardware. So what that means is we have access to Xeon processors, ECC memory, the same kind that are found in the Trash and Tosh Mac Pro as well as the newly released iMac Pro. Now some of you may be thinking that this machine has outdated ports and that can be somewhat correct if the machine is left stock. So we do get USB 2.0, we do not have 3.0 on this machine. We've got the old Firewire ports, but we have access to full PCI lanes. So we can always throw in a USB 3 card, a Thunderbolt 2 or Thunderbolt 3 card, or whatever device that we need to fit our workflow. We have access to dual Ethernet um, ports, so this is a workstation machine. So if you're connecting this to a server and you're doing high data transfers, we have access to dual Ethernet ports. If you're into audio production, we have the audio line in and line out ports, which is great to connect all of your gear. So now let's take a look at this system in terms of performance. So as you can see up on the screen there, I have two quad core processors for a total of eight cores. We have 24 gigs of DDR3 ECC memory. Now this is 1066 megahertz, but you can update the speed on that by doing a firmware model to the 5.1 machine. I have a SSD RAID system in here, so that's really good to get the maximum performance out of those drives, as well as just a GT um, graphics card. Nothing too spectacular, but you can always upgrade down the line to any available card that is flashed or any NVIDIA card that will work with the system. So if we take a look at system report here, uh, this is the 5.1 Mac Pro. So I'm able to put in the Westmere Xeons up to 12 cores, um, as well as faster memory, and I have some more options available with the GPU. Now in terms of Geekbench results, I'll post those um, on the screen here for you. Now the difference between those results and the 2013 Trash and Tosh Mac Pro um, can be quite minor in some cases if we look at the 12 core models. We're not too far up on the multi core performance, and I think overall the Cheese Grater would be a better machine to go with because you have an option um, to upgrade down the line. Now, in terms of how new the systems are, these are both old age machines, but these things run like tanks. So the Cheese Grater Mac Pro, you could throw those around practically anywhere, and you have more options of what you can put inside um, in terms of upgradability and hardware. So in terms of the Cheese Grater Mac Pro, it all depends on the availability of the system. So if you're able to find the unit for a good price, I'd say go for it. If you're into the creative professional work, so if you're doing Final Cut Pro, um, Adobe Premiere, and if you're just looking for um, great performance when using a Mac, I recommend the Mac Pro. Do not go for uh, the Trash and Tosh, even if you find a good price. The graphics card is unupgradable. Uh, internal storage solutions are terrible. Uh, to upgrade the processor is just a pain to take out the entire unit whereas um, on the cheese grater is just a couple of screws and you lift the heat sink off. Um, so if you're able to score a 5.1 Mac Pro 
that's awesome but if you do um, end up finding the 09 system like the one I've got here you can always push a firmware upgrade it just takes two minutes um, and then you get the 5.1 firmware which allows you to upgrade these CPUs uh, put some faster memory and GPUs in the unit itself so if you're in the market for an extremely reliable and powerful Mac, I recommend picking up the Mac Pro. It's also really affordable. You can end up picking up a system for under a thousand bucks. And remember, you can start with a low-end starter system, um, start to do your creative work and upgrade along the way. So you don't always have to pick up the 12 core model. You can start at an eight core um, and then upgrade to the 12 core as needed. So that's it for this video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.